Today in the news, we got a flurry of information on new AMD CPUs and a little update on FSR. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with AMD. It looks like the company still has a lot of current and past generation products that they want to deliver. I mean, with Ryzen 5000, all we had was four products, the 5600X, uh, 5800X, 5900X, and the 5950X that's on launch. On the flip side, Intel delivered like 15 SKUs for Alder Lake S that spanned a large number of different configurations. Well, it looks like AMD is ready to respond. Late last week, we heard from a leaker over over on Twitter that there are three more chips we didn't know about coming in to compete with Alder Lake. There's a Ryzen 5 5500, a 5600, and a 5700X. In terms of specs, the 5500 is a six core and six threads, 5600 is a six core and 12 threads, and the 5700X would be an eight core and 16 threads CPU. On top of these three models, more have popped up this week. A Ryzen 3 5100, that's a quad core with a thread and a 5700 non-X. Now, that's a lot of CPUs launching with Zen 4 on the horizon. What's going to be interesting to see is if AMD plans on enabling the graphics on these chips, because the 5100, 5500, and 5700 non-X are apparently based on the Zen 3 Cezanne silicon. So the IGP is there, but there is no G in the naming scheme, so it's possible that they're blocking the graphics block. The company is also rumored to bring back some Zen 2 Renoir processors in the form of a Ryzen 4100, 4300, and 4700. Once again, the graphics might be disabled here too. What's great about these CPUs being based on Cezanne and Renoir is that they have a lot lower latency compared to the uh, chiplet variant of uh, Zen CPUs. Now, we don't have the exact price for any of those chips, but the whole point of them is to combat Alder Lake's lineup. So I would expect a lot of those models to come in sub $200, just not the eight core. Honestly, while Intel will probably still be a faster option than the AMD chips here, the cost for an Alder Lake system right now might nullify the difference in price depending on which processor you choose. Which brings me to the Alder Lake killer for AMD, the 5800X3D. You might have noticed that AMD had to do some pretty big changes to clock speeds on this chip. It's significantly lower than the regular 5800X. And it looks like that's not the only change here. According to AMD's website and a rumor on a forum post on Bilibili, the 5800X3D would not support overclocking. On every desktop Ryzen CPU's website page, the mention of unlocked for overclocking is there. Well, the 5800X3D just doesn't have that mention at all. This coupled with the fact that they had to reduce the clock speeds from a standard 5800X shows that the cache may be limiting the top clocks. In terms of pricing and release dates, what we're hearing is April 20th and about 450 USD for this new model. A little bit high, but I could see the price go down pretty fast as we approach Zen 4. In any case, the 5800X3D bone stock still looks like it's going to be a beast for gaming. Maybe not productivity though. Continuing with some AMD news, it looks like FSR is getting an update and a big one at that. The information comes from CapFrameX over on Twitter and he apparently got to watch some footage of FSR 2 in action. That's pretty cool, I'm a little jealous. Some pointers he gave is that it will be based on a temporal upscaler and then would use AMD's optimized anti-aliasing algorithms. This is wildly different from FSR 1.0, which uses a spatial upscaler in combination with uh, an optimized version of their contrast adaptive sharpening or CAS. Temporal upscaling is a great way to upscale for visual quality. The only thing is that it does come with some issues like ghosting when foreground objects move too fast and shimmering on angled planes. FSR 2.0 would also not use AI and will still be compatible with the competition's GPUs. In any case, I'm super excited to see FSR 2 in action. If you haven't yet, I have uh, oh, this side. I have two videos on the original technology, so go check them out. I tested uh, 10-year-old GPUs with FSR. 
And then in gaming news, we got Valve. The company just released the Steam Deck companion game, Aperture Desk Job. And uh, of course, like with anything Valve releases, people are data mining the hell out of it. So far, it looks like the code of the game has references to future Valve project, notably Project Citadel, a new entry in the Half-Life franchise, some kind of follow-up to Half-Life Alex, a CSGO port based on the Source 2 engine, and a recreation of the previously canceled Portal Paint game. This information was shared by Tyler McVicker over on YouTube, and there are a lot of Valve notes on specific enemy and uh, behaviors that just aren't present in Aperture Desk Job, so it has to be from a separate game. Pretty cool stuff. I'd recommend checking out his channel because he is probably still data mining. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you wanna talk about today's stories. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here. Subscribe to the channel. I'm sorry there hasn't been many videos. I, you might not notice, but I am incredibly in pain right now. Um, I'm getting my wisdom tooth removed, uh, possibly all four at the same time. So if you don't hear from me next week, I might be half dead. Take care, I'll see you next time. Stay frosty.